Hello 985th. Today we're going to be talking about artillery or high explosive ordnance and turrets, so emplacements. As you can see behind us we have the Republic's finest uh, equipment. Uh, it's, it's amazing uh, really uh, and I'm not talking about this little turret, I'm talking about the ones behind me. So the two turrets behind us uh, <laughs> They are extremely overpowered. Um, so this one over here is a Republic field gun, and this one over here is an AV-7 artillery gun. You might see the back of something over there. I might actually. Oof, there you go. And this is an ATTE or an all-terrain tactical enforcer. Uh, well, that's that's a lot to go into. Uh, we've also got hiding in here a little e-web. Uh, its placement is for a specific reason and then we have our mortar because we're going to be talking about how to use an artillery computer all right let's start with a field gun as you can see standard emplacement not much going on it has a laser cannon as well as a high explosive 120 mil round cannon uh, effective up to two kilometers not much more to go on about that variable zoom like in the tank and over here we have the uh, AV-9, I think it's called, AV-9, yes, AV-7, sorry, AV-7. So the AV-7 is an artillery cannon, it's a field cannon, it fires a high explosive proton shell, uh, yeah, it's going to be big, it's very loud. Uh, unfortunately, artillery computer on it doesn't work, I haven't found a fix, um, it's a big barrel. Um, so you do have to line it in by eye uh, and here like I said we have the all-terrain tactical enforcer unfortunately this only has two positions a spotting position and the gunner position it doesn't move yet uh, stand by for more on that as you can see it has six legs and uh, it is uh, movable in the center here uh, it can articulate up and down, left and right, which helps with maneuverability. A lot more stable than an AT-80, -AT, an all-terrain uh, attack transport. Um, this heavy gun on the top, again, leaves the gunner completely defended, uh, undefended, sorry, but a full 360 view around the walker. E-Web turret, much like any emplacement, it is a heavy repeater. Uh, uh, you walk into one of these in the base without checking your corner, you're done. It is quite uh, capable of suppressing an area with high rate of accuracy and fire. And the mortar is just a mortar. Alright, let's go have some fun. Now, in my last video, I touched on something called silhouetting, but I didn't actually explain what that is. So, over to my 12 o'clock, we have some targets. Now, the enemy was silly. Because even though we're ages away, I can see all three of their targets. Which is going to make it very easy to light them up. There is one that is hidden. Because of the way he's placed himself, he will have a clean shot at me. And I've got no idea where he is. Which is rather clever. So, silhouetting is basically when you make yourself visible from the top of a mountain. So, you've gone and and poked so close to the mountain that whilst you can't see them, they already see you. Uh, back in World War One, there was a tactic that the Allies used where, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to find the uh, sweet spot. Might let me in. Let me in. Um, what the Allies did was, the Germans used to have a spike on their helmet. And what that spike did, why won't you let me in? do this manually. Uh, what, what used to happen was uh, the Germans in World War II would have a, um, a like a spike at the top of their helmet and um, I might tell you to cease fire just in case while we're talking. Uh, what would happen is um, the pilot
pike would be taller than the trench. Because all the Allied soldiers would be sitting in their trench and they'd go and line up the pike. So before the, the Germans, the Germans would, would come out of the trench, the Allies all had shots because they knew where they were, because they could see the, the, the pike. Similar situation here. You don't want any part of your body coming over the, the hill where it's completely visible for the enemy to see. Okay, so let's talk about ordnance. Uh, we have a support laser turret. Very effective. And then we have the big boy gun. Oh, actually, uh, I won't have earplugs. So this is a high explosive heavy laser cannon, um, as you can see. Now, plus and minus, once again, we also have different versions of thermal vision. Makes it a lot easier to spot your targets when they're on. As you can see, they uh, resonate heat. So if I do that, you can see them a lot clearer. Alright, so we're zoomed in at the moment. The range is 1.3 kilometres. You can go further, but the fog's not letting me on this map. I can't work out how to get rid of it. One click order do it. Might take two. Slow rate of reload on this ship. On this vehicle, I should say. But as you can see, they're perfect hits. Um, not much else really to say about this, other than it's uh, an excellent field weapon. It's incredibly durable. It's probably got the strongest armor of anything I've ever used. Um, it does have an artillery computer. I don't see the point in it. Um, and with that done, we'll get moving on the next one. I have to say, Marco, honestly, so good looking. I mean, look at those hands, the textures there. Alright, moving on to the next one. You can see the ordnance just there on the side. Try and find the sweet spot. Ah, there it is. Alright. So, we'll try and range it. So plus and minus uh, to zoom in. What we actually got to do is page up and page down. Okay, so let's drop it down just a little bit more. It is a bit finicky. So range is 1.3 again. You can see how short the shell went. So, best thing to do I find is to go into third person. Give it a bit of a lift. Let's see if I've got my earplugs yet. Oh, earplugs are still in. Excellent. But yes, it's a it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful vehicle. Look at that. So it's probably a bit too proud there. Oh, maybe not. It needs a bit more than that. So, again, we'll go up again. Down she comes. Oof, just short. Might line it up just a bit more. she comes. I think we went over the hill there. Yep. <laughs> Oof, that was close. Oh, in fact, I think that got it. Bingo. Bang on target. So, you can... We'll try using the artillery computer. We'll see if it wants to work for us. I doubt it. Uh, that's not the artillery computer. So, artillery computer, you just load it in here. See, it does this. This is where I don't like it. Now, see, it says can't fire. No matter where you put it. It doesn't matter what range you use. Even if I did that, it doesn't like doing it. So, it just does not like firing. You can't, can't click on it. So yeah, artillery computer's a bit broken on this. And even if I was to fire, I doubt it would work for us. Um, so yeah, that's that's the uh, AV7.
wonderful piece of equipment. We'll use this and I'll show you how an artillery computer works while we're on the subject. Alright, so, how mortars work properly. You would have one squad that would be... Let's use Zeus. You would have one squad that would be spotting, usually from a high point. So you would normally have them somewhere like this. And they would be looking for targets. So they would be looking for heat signatures and things like that. And they'd go, ooh, hello you sneaky sneaky tank that's hidden very very well in the background here. We have a heat signature on you. So they'd open up the map and they'd say, objective, destroy. I'll make it in blue. And they'd go, AAT times one. So now that's marked on the map. So I go, ooh, okay, let's open my map, and I go, AAT times one. Okay, hop in the mortar as a gunner, artillery computer, oh look at that, there's an AAT there. Now I need to open up the distance on it, there we go. Now I'm using HE mortar shells, medium range, uh, that's the grid, distance, um, I think, I can't remember what that is, I think that's... It's not the ETA. I can't remember what that is. Don't remember what those two. Um, uh, so spread 50 ETA 26 seconds. So that's that's what you need to let the troops on the ground know. You need to let them know that there's a 50 meter spread from where they've marked. You need to let them know that it's a 26 seconds. All right. Now you can just press spacebar. So I'm going to hit spacebar and fire all eight rounds. Whoop! If I don't hit menu, that'd be good. Alright. Okay, it's going to do this. One. Two. Now I'm watching the ETA here. So I'd say ETA, 20 seconds. Splash out, 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 5 seconds. Once you've said five seconds, they should know, move. There we go. So that's the way artillery needs to work. So it's, a, it, it's more than one person. You can't just go shelling an area of the map because you feel like it. It's got to be marked. Now let's see what damage those shells did. Not much at all. Not much at all. So that's how artillery works. It'd be nice if the big boy worked, because then uh, that would be extremely effective. All right, let's move on to our next toy, the ATTE. This can be dropped via lap, if you ask the Zeus nicely. So let's hop in the gunner seat. Oof, yep, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Alright. So let's go into the gun of you. Oh, look at that. We have targets. Look at that. It zeroed in at 1355. Five. See how it fell short? So what we need to do is we need to compensate. So we lift the turret. Perfect hit. ATTs, you need to aim for the spots, the turrets, uh, the front of it, like dead on the front of it. If you can take out, because it's classed as an APC, if you can take out its wheels, you've disabled the APC, which means the droids have to get out. So you've now rendered that vehicle useless. If you can take out that top turret, like that, you're going to disable its main cannon, which is its biggest threat. That thing is so effective. As you can see, we're just suppressing it with absolutely no problem over a kilometer away. So that's the key to lock on the radar. And you can see by that scale, I know exactly where it is at all times. So let's go have a look at what damage we've done to it. Now you've got a high rate of fire on that ATTE. Nearly dead. I would almost argue you've disabled almost everything on it. And that was not from not much fire at all. Uh, however, in saying that, I 
in saying that, I'll show you this. At the chance of killing myself, I might actually move myself first. That's not a bad idea. So we'll get out. I'll show you what happens. This is the ATTE's downside. If I move over here. Remember what we talked about is silhouetting. Just because you can see them, doesn't mean they can't see you. Look at that. Only stand out like dog balls. Zeroed in. Give it a bit of range. One hit. Now this has got a slower reload, but I argue it does a lot more damage. I like that, I reckon we've disabled his gun. But I'll give it one more, because I reckon one more will take it out. There you go. There you go. So we'll remove that, just because we're done with him. So, yeah, that's uh, that's the ATTE, or what's left of it, I should say. Oh, and I'm hurt. Look at that. Look how far away from it I was, and I'm hurt. Let's see how badly. Right leg, what did I cop? Oh, it's on basic. That's right, so once I bandage it, I'll be fine. And the medical, right leg, some morphine, and I'll be okay. So this is basic base medical. This is nowhere near what poor old nut has to put up with every day. Alright, last but not least, an E-Web turret. E-Web turret is very, very basic. It's just got a laser cannon, hold the trigger, things die. Uh, you can go on to first person, and you can zoom in. I don't see the point, because you're not going to be suppressing things from over a I mean, you could. It's accurate enough. I don't know. Uh, the advantage to this over a Z6 is this won't jam. That's what makes this a superior uh, emplacement. Ask permission before you take this out. Um, Zeus will usually say no, uh, just because, you know, it's two bags, one for the tripod, one for the turret. Uh, yeah, so there we go. That is the Republic's armory, really. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you all later.